Okay, hi everyone and welcome to Bayat's YouTube channel. Um, we are in the month of May and as you guys know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, so Bayad would like to honor that and celebrate that by um, having staff here share our own personal experiences on how we take care of our mental health, um, how we practice, practice mindfulness, and how we stay grounded in the work that we do. Um, so I would like to open up the floor to our staff here, um, and they're going to share just a trick or two on how they take care of their mental health. Um, so we'll go ahead and start it off. Hi, my name is Jessman. I work at Bayad. Going to school full time and working full time, sometimes it can get really difficult to carve out time to appreciate the small things. Um, some things that I do are intentionally storytell and laugh. Um, it, it brings up my mood. I'm a pretty theatrical person, so it blends nicely with what I also enjoy deeply. Um, and then apart from that, I also spend time in the morning with myself drinking tea and just uh, making time to meditate and, and journal. Hi, I'm Cora and I also work at Bayad. Um, I read, like really tangible tools to help with my mental health. A couple of the ones that I use, there's a website called youfeellikeshit.com that takes you through step-by-step -step different practical things that you can do to improve your mental health right in the moment. And then I also like to keep a notebook with things where I'll write down one to two things every day where someone made me feel like they cared about my well-being or a little success that I had. And then I can always go and look at that notebook later if I'm having a really bad day. Hi everyone, my name is Anna and I intern and work at Bayad. Um, and I also, also am in grad school full time. So like Jessman, my schedule can be kind of hectic. Um, and so something I do that kind of helps me is just to focus on the things that I can control. Um, so I kind of try to practice mindfulness that way by really focusing on the things that I can, I can actually affect and kind of letting go of the things that are out of my control, which um, sometimes easier said than done, but I do think working on that mind, mindset shift um, can really help me. Um, another thing that that's helpful for me is to find some kind of outlet to express my emotions. Um, something I've kind of started doing recently is paint by numbers, which is a great distraction. Um, it gets me off my phone, away from the screen, um, and allows me just to decompress and spend some time doing something I normally wouldn't, which is sometimes really great and can help me feel a lot better. You're, you're on mute, Linda. We still can't hear you. We may have to do a little video editing. Okay. Now we can hear you. <laughs> Sorry, technical issues. Uh, you can hear me now? Yep. Okay, good. So I'm Linda Drake and I also work at Bayad. I've worked at Bayad for over 14 years. And um, I have three children that all have various labels. And one of them, my middle daughter has life-threatening allergies. And so when she was a teenager into her early 20s, every time she would call me, I would get this uh, horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach um, that what, what was going on now and how bad was her reaction. And she would be in the emergency room at least once a month. And during that time, I learned how to send blessings. And that has been the most life-changing thing I've ever done. So it has really helped me uh, deal with anxiety and it's sending blessings is different than a prayer. Sending blessings is taking the energy from the universe, that same loving energy, but we're sending it through ourselves to the person. So I was able to learn how to send blessings that 
whatever was happening was in the highest good. Uh, blessings of gratitude for the doctors and nurses. Uh, now I send blessings as I'm coming into work. Um, blessings to Bayad and to the people around me. And it just really helps me to lift my own energy so that I'm more able to deal with whatever is going on in my life in a more um, loving way. So that's been the biggest difference in my mental health for sure. So, okay, I'm done. Hello, my name is Barbara. I am also with the Yod. I've been here uh, about uh, a month, a little over a month. And uh, I have two teenage boys uh, that sometimes are a little challenging and a full-time job. So I try to stay focused on what I do. I think it's very important for me to practice uh, uh, mindfulness. I need to do deep breathing and meditation. It's not easy. I mean, everybody say, oh, meditate and uh, you feel better. Uh, it's not a practice that I found easy to do, but the, I really feel like when I'm, uh, I'm thinking, I'm trying to get inside of myself, uh, things are better. I love to take walks. Whenever I'm really stressed out, I take walks, even if it's just around the corner, um, because that helps me to de-stress. And then whenever I have a chance, I love to go into nature. And nature really, I mean, when I sit in nature and I ground myself, um, I am ready to start all over again. And uh, believe it or not, uh, another thing that I do that really helps me out is uh, uh, I love to give a kiss to my kids every morning when uh, I get up and every night when uh, they go to bed. They think it's weird because they are teenagers, but uh, they makes me feel wonderful. It's a connection that I have with them, and I think connection is very important. So thank you for listening and have a good day. Hi, I'm Stacy. I also work here at Bayad with Jasmine and Linda. Um, I have quite a few things in my tool belt for my mental health. Over the years, I've gathered quite a bit. Um, and one of the newer ones since I moved to Colorado from Michigan um, is getting into the mountains. There are times I live in the city, I work in the city, and I love the city, but getting out into the mountains and getting into the nature and just the peace and quiet is, is so relaxing and always helps me decompress. Um, in the city, I do a lot of things at home as far as trying to eat healthy. I have yoga apps. I have a meditation app I use at night to help me go to sleep. And it's kind of a, it helps me meditate and, and also fall asleep. Um, and then counseling. I am in counseling and I find it to be the most important tool that I have, especially in times um, like we've been going through for the last year. And then also I decided to, you know, uproot my life. So it's been very helpful um, having friends here that I work with to talk to. And when all else fails, if I really just feel overwhelmed, I'll take a day, mental health day, and just rest. And um, oh, one other thing I want to mention, a, a little thing I learned um, in my meditation app is to find something in your surroundings that you see often and tell yourself that every time you see that, you're going to list off three things you're grateful for. So I, of course, cho chose the mountains. I see it every day. Um, so when I'm driving, a lot of times I, when I see the mountains, I'll pause in my thought wherever I'm at and think of three things I'm grateful for. And that's been a, a big help as well. I hope that's helpful. My name is Chris Foos. I'm an employment specialist here at Bayod. And for my own mental health, I practice empathy always. Uh, I try to resist judgment, kind of pull myself back and look at everything big picture. To stay grounded, I spend lots of time with dogs. Um, they're kind of my silent partner. You know, I deal with people all day. So at the end of the day, I need that silence. Um, I find solace in books, 
obviously. Um, and I hike a lot. I'm a native. So just getting that fresh air and feeling grounded literally is super helpful. And also I write comedy. Uh, there is laughter to be found in everything. So that's what works for me. Well, thank you all so much for sharing. Um, I think it's always helpful to hear what other people do to practice taking care of their own mental health. Um, and I think it's also just so cool that we all have such diverse ways that we take care of ourselves and take care of each other. Um, and I think that's what makes all of this so cool and so special. But um, thank you again for sharing your tips. Um, and for those viewing the video, I hope that you could take something from this, um, maybe try something new, or maybe it reminded you of something that you used to practice and want to pick up again. But um, I hope this video was helpful for the viewers um, and just wanted to say happy May, happy Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Um, and we will also be providing some mental health resources in our YouTube description box below as well. But thank you all for being here.